Hello everyone and welcome to the review of my new matte Manta Mips. Guys, guys, you know I needed it. Guys, guys, don't, don't, don't do this. We, we discussed this. Guys, guys, please. Okay, have you come down? I'll explain, don't worry, I'll explain. You are all needed, yeah, all of you, okay? So before going into the review, I'll quickly explain the madness of all this. I first started with this one, Bontrager Velocis, is a semi-aerodynamic helmet, very good uh, all-around helmet. I could have stayed with this as my only helmet, but I wanted to get something else as in uh, an aerodynamic helmet, especially for the winter, this is very useful because a little bit more covered for keeping a little bit more warm in the head and help out with the rain and the wind of the winter. I also expanded the range with uh, the Poc Octal, extremely light, very good ventilation for the summer. I got this an unbelievable price and I said, why not, let's get on with the Poc also end up with the matte Trenta all-around helmet, very good aerodynamic, good ventilation. There was kind of the black version of the white Bontrager Velocis. And what was needed, lastly, is for the winter, a white matte Manta. Now this is the new version, so in the review I'm going to concentrate into the difference between the old Manta and the new Manta, and also some similarities with the Met Trenta. Here we got my three Met helmets, and uh, I just need to clarify that even worse, I paid for all of this myself, so nothing has been uh, given for the review. This is the new Manta, and is the clear evolution of this first model here. Manta is the Italian version of some sort of stingray fish. Uh, they wanted to give this name for the, this kind of soft shape that is clearly extremely aerodynamic and efficient. The old version is a little bit more high and pointy here and a bit shorter, while the new version has got kind of softer design not as tall and it's got a slightly longer surface and a redesigned rear vent, as you can see here. Slightly bigger vents in the front for the new version and this model comes in white, they call holographic, which has got these uh, very nice details in uh, kind of silver, shiny, multicolor. What I really like the most in terms of improvement, in terms of the design, is the rear element. It's a much clearer design, really, really beautiful. I have to say the biggest improvement uh, it would be in the back and in the overall shape that comes in a much more refined version. But the most uh, striking difference is in the fit. As you know, my overall favorite helmet is the Matte Trenta. It does have, for me, the perfect shape for my oval head. And you can clearly see the evolution in uh, the, the shape where the Trenta is slightly more oval, even better fitting for my head than the Manta. The Manta is slightly rounder, I can still get comfortable, but definitely the Trenta feels like it's almost molded to my head. And it looks like the mat after the Trenta, they adopted the same mold and the same retention system and interior design for the new Met Manta MIPS. As you can see, the overall volume inside is very similar to the Trenta, similar retention system, exactly the same shape, so I'm comfortable on both helmets. MIPS system, 
The MIPS liner is designed to absorb some of the impacts, the rotational impacts in uh, event of a fall. I'm not going to test this one uh, touch wood for now, but it is something that is nice to have on, on the helmet. was not my priority when uh, I went for shopping for the helmet, so the priority for me was to get the shape and the fit of the helmet. If there was a version without the MIPS, I might have gone for that. The fact that this new version is only offered with MIPS didn't give me a choice and um, overall I'm happy that I also have this feature on the helmet. Another nice feature that I don't have on the other helmet is a magnetic clip. Very simple to use. Doesn't add much weight on the helmet. It's a cool addition, not essential, but it's uh, quite nice to, to have it here. As mentioned, the helmet fits perfectly to my head and it does have a very nice volume as all three of these helmets. Very good profile, protection for the wind and the rain. The strap falls quite nicely. The magnetic clip has got a little bit more volume, so bear in mind if you do have a high collar uh, jacket that comes up, it might touch the clip here, while the traditional clip are a little bit less volume. It also works really well with the glasses. It doesn't have a specific uh, advertised glass port, but I found out that especially with this Sirocco, you can pop them in in these vents. It's a very safe place to fit your glasses and it's very easy to remove it and place them overall here. And believe it or not, I also performed some very scientific tests on the helmet. On the very same day I got the helmet, I rode to work, I put the helmet on uh, the ground next to my desk on the carpet and I decided to run a test to see whether this beautiful cover was going to be resistant or not. So I decided to perform this kind of a experiment where with a water bottle that was next to my desk I purposely slammed the bottle that somehow fell exactly on top of the helmet and uh, yes the result is this one so on the very first day and uh, this is what the bottle damage was on the helmet yes a small dent uh, at the same time all my colleagues had a very colorful rendition of uh, a lot of Italian uh, swear words that they won't understand or even they won't be able to repeat in a trip to Italy. But again, yes, this is exactly what happened on the first day. Weight-wise, the old Manta is extremely light, comes in at uh, 203 grams. The MET Trenta, this is a version without the MIPS liner, but it's not the carbon fiber version. And it is on the scale 235 grams. And the new MET Manta with the MIPS liner and the magnetic buckle comes up at 248 grams. At 248 grams, I would say it still feels light on your head. This is the kind of point where over 250 grams, you start to feel a little bit more weight. This is extremely recommended. If you're looking for something that is very efficient, decent ventilation, for winter riding is my absolute favorite. So this really get top marks. Thank you again for your likes and subscription. They really mean a lot to me. If you would like to comment and share your experience with your helmet, your favorite helmet, I would love to hear. As you know, I try to reply to all your comments and I also follow most of you on Strava. I really enjoy watching all the different places of the world where you ride and thank you again for watching. See you to the next video. Ciao!